Plan to visit the Quad Cities? Welcome to my channel. Top 7 Places to Visit in Quad Cities It's called the Quad Cities as it's made up of four communities straddling the Mississippi River on the Iowa-Illinois border, Bettendorf, and Davenport on the Iowa side and Moline and Rock Island on the Illinois side. More than 384,000 people call the area home. Something unique about the Quad Cities is its position on the Mississippi River. At this point the river travels from east to west. Can be confusing as we've all learned that the river generally flows north to south, but not here. So enjoy your visit, we all welcome you. But be sure to plan a long weekend in order to take in all the sights and enjoy the culinary scene. 7. Stop to smell the flowers at the Quad City Botanical Center. A little more than two decades old, the Quad City Botanical Center in Rock Island offers a peaceful walk through 12 gardens, each featuring something different. You'll see perennials, wildflowers, conifers, and a seasonal butterfly garden. Inside the visitor center, you'll find a tropical garden, which uses a 70-foot skylight to help provide natural lighting. A 14-foot waterfall adds to the garden's beauty. You'll also find an accessible garden, with planters at appropriate heights for people needing wheelchairs or assistance. 6. Vegas-style casinos in the Quad Cities Did you know that the Quad Cities was the first in the U.S. to offer riverboat gaming? In 1991, the region launched a nationwide resurgence of gaming when the Diamond Lady Casino was the first casino to open in Bettendorf, Iowa. The President Casino opened about an hour later on the riverfront in Davenport, Iowa. Today, three land-based casinos operate daily in the Quad Cities, Our Casino Hotel Bettendorf, Bally's Quad Cities Casino and Hotel in Rock Island, and Rhythm City Casino Resort in Davenport. The New Caesars Sportsbook area of the Isle Casino is an excellent place for fans to gather for sports wagering, and the Elite Sportsbook at Rhythm City Casino's Draft Day Sports Lounge features a 360-degree screen and TV screens for customers to view odds or their preferred games. Besides gaming, each property offers a variety of dining options, beautifully appointed hotel rooms, live entertainment options, and all are close to attractions, golf, and other entertainment amenities. 5. Let's Play Ball Modern Woodman Park is a minor league baseball venue located in Davenport, Iowa. It is home to the Quad Cities River Bandits, the high-A central affiliate of the Kansas City Royals. Since 1987, St. Ambrose University plays all of its home baseball games there as well. The stand seating always easier to maneuver plus there are more interactive games and activities. During our visit, the kids were able to throw out the first ball, a most memorable experience. 4. Learn about art and science at the local museums. There are two major museums to visit in Davenport, and you'll want to budget an hour or so at each. The Putnam Museum will be a hit with your grandkids, but the Science Museum also has exhibits that will appeal to adults. History enthusiasts will appreciate learning about life along the river, as well as life in ancient Egypt and in early Iowa. The Fig Art Museum features paintings from the 15th century onward, including a collection of works by Iowa artist Grant Wood. Oil paintings, sculptures, and even furniture make this spot a focal point of eastern Iowa's art scene. Located a short walk from the Mississippi River, the Fig's contemporary design shines against the backdrop of the river. 3. Adler Theater The beauty of the original Radio Keith Orpheum's Art Deco style was reflected in its gold leaf ceiling, crystal light fixtures and black ebony, walnut and marble detail. 2. Check out the goods at the original American Pickers store. The History Channel television show, The American Pickers started in the area. The host of the show, Mike Wolf started out as an antique dealer in Leclerc. Their original store, Antique Archaeology, remains a popular tourist stop where you can find vintage items for sale as well as American Pickers memorabilia. Always fun to browse the unique discoveries available. 1. Cruise the Mississippi on a riverboat. A great way to start your adventures is grabbing an ice-cold beverage aboard a riverboat cruising along the Mississippi River. Cruises are available on both sides of the Mississippi. 
Take a seat on the open deck of the Twilight and enjoy a 90-minute cruise north of the Quad Cities featuring scenic views of the shoreline. You're sure to catch sight of Bald Eagle or two especially by the dams. The Twilight permits food to be brought on board, but it also offers a cash bar along with sodas and water. On the Illinois side catch a view of the southern end on the Celebration Bell. With three decks, the Celebration Bell launches from Moline and travels south, offering a view of the area's attractions from the river. You'll pass by the historic Rock Island Arsenal, a military installation dating to the early 1830s. Something again unique about the areas is that there are two dams on the river within 10 miles of each other. Nowhere else in the Mississippi is that true. The locals call it the pool. It's like having a recreational lake in a river. Thank you for visiting my channel.